Aloha, my name is Daniel Brona, student at the University of California, Santa Barbara and retail specialist. And welcome back to yet another retail case study. Now, last month, there was news that two of the largest grocery store chains in the United States would merge together. And right in front of me in the screen and in your video, it is obvious that both of them are Albertsons companies and Kroger. So as of October, both companies have announced that they are tentatively merging together into one company. Now, of course, this has caused public outcry and some discussion, including some controversy about both of the companies merging. So today we're going to be introducing this merger. We're going to be analyzing and seeing possible outcomes of this merger and discussing how it will overall affect the economy and local communities in the United States. Okay, so here are the table of contents for this video. We're going to be introducing the case study. We're going to briefly introduce and overview the companies that matter, which is Albertson Companies and the Kroger Company. We're going to be going over the possible merger, analyzation of the merger, including possible outcomes, opinions, and further discussion, and the ultimate conclusion of this case study. So, as of October 14, 2020, it was announced that Kroger would acquire Albertsons companies for $24.6 billion. As two of the largest grocery store chains in the United States, this would put the merged company at over 5,000 stores and over 700,000 employees across the country. Moreover, when combined in revenue over the past decades, the company would own 16% of the grocery market in the United States. This would put the merged company right behind Walmart as the second largest company in the grocery market. In this case study, we will go over a brief introduction of both companies, the context of the merger, and the possible outcomes that could occur if the plan goes through, unfazed, or under modified conditions. So, let's briefly all introduce both companies by going first at Albertson's Companies. Albertson Companies was founded on July 21st, 1939 in Boise, Idaho by Joe Albertson. Operating at 2,200 stores in 34 states alongside having 300,000 associates, Albertson's Companies is the fourth largest grocer in the United States. With a larger stake than most grocery store chains such as Trader Joe's, Publix, and Target Corporation, they bring in net sales of almost $70 billion. Just to note, Target Corporation, of course, is a retailer, not a grocery store chain, but they have the third party have groceries come in with them, and that puts them as a really large percentage in the grocery market. As mentioned in their annual report ended December 31st, 2020, their net sales come from their multiple banners that they have across the United States. Therefore, why their amount is so high. And talking about banners, they have over 22 different banners, which include Safeway, Vons, Pavilions, Randalls, and Jewel Osco, just to name a few. As a primary, primary competitor for many in the grocery industry, let's visit the other big fish in the market, which is the Kroger Company. Now, the Kroger Company was founded years, decades before Albertson's Companies in 1883 by Bernard Kroger. Operating at 2,800 stores in 35 states alongside having almost 420,000 associates, Kroger Company is the second largest grocer in the United States. So even though both companies merge, Kroger is still the second largest grocer, beating them, Costco, and everyone else. The Kroger Company brings in significantly more as they bring in $132.5 billion across their own company with their multiple banners, which could include Ralph's, Food for Less, Fred Mayer, and Mer more, sorry, possible merger. So we've now overlooked, briefly overlooked both companies and see how they are in sales, stores, etc. Now we're going to be talking about the possible merger and the overview of what could occur. As a visual representation, here's a map if both companies would go into or merge together, seeing the overlapping of the Kroger and Albertson stores across the United States, including Hawaii and Alaska. Possible merger. In early October, it was rumored that Kroger and Albertsons would merge into one company. This came true as on October 14, 2022, Kroger announced that it was in the process of a definitive merger agreement with Albertsons companies for $24.6 billion. After the tentative merger was announced, the public jumped on the news to display their own opinions and facts on the story. This caused controversy in new research, including this case study 
to be conducted on the outcomes of the merger. Now, from the merger, of course, we need to go through the analyzation, including possible outcomes done by studies and other news articles to see what could truly occur from it. As each respective company owns 20 plus banners across the United States, making them the largest grocers in the country, there are some problems or there might be some confusions with this merger under antitrust laws that politicians might go after, including some representatives from each company. One of these issues comes as a concern of overlapping stores. An example of this would be with Southern California. In the Los Angeles County region, we see most stores made up of Albertson stores, Bonds, Bastillion, etc., and Kroger stores such as Ralph's, Kroger, and Food for Less stores. If both companies were to merge, a handful of stores would close, which would lead to food deserts to some communities. Food deserts are basically communities that do not have access to local, fresh, or even cheap food that they cannot purchase. So as a result, the community does not have access to it and really brings them down. If not, if they do not close stores, it will cause a monopoly in local communities. This would later cause other stores to close or relocate if they are not able to keep up with the competition. Another concern is the issue of raising prices. If both companies combine and drive out business, this allows each respective store to raise prices on their already highly priced products as a result of inflation. To further explain this point, let's think of Staples and Office Depot. In recent attempts for both companies to merge, although online retailers such as Amazon have had most sales in office supplies in this category, a merger between both companies will cause a monopoly and violation of antitrust laws as a result of overlapping stores across the country. Now, this example was brought up in a book that I read based off of this case study, which is called Mergers, Acquisitions, and Corporate Restructurings. This is a great book that I found uh, recently on campus, and I decided to take a thorough look into it to better understand the definition and aspect of mergers and what it means towards the local communities and the guidelines of antitrust laws. And with the example of Staples and Office Depot, although many people think they already merge or the same company, they really aren't. And they did both combine. It will cause a negative effect towards the economy and possibly towards local communities. So it's a good example to think of, even though they try to merge multiple times and never happened because of consequences that might come towards breaking antitrust laws and how they really wrote the whole documentation of it and the process of merging. This is similar towards Albertsons and Kroger Company as both could have negative impacts towards the economy and there might be some things that are written in there that the politicians and the company executives might fall through and never agree on. After looking at these issues and examples of the other merger between uh, Staples and Office Depot, there are some outcomes that both companies can do for this to occur. The most viable option is for each respective company to sell some of their banners in order to merge. For example, let's say that Albertson's company sells off pavilions and Cro no, sorry, Albertson company sells off pavilions and Kroger does the same with their banners or some of their less known banners that might have a negative impact towards the merger, it would lessen the impact of the merger and possibly go through. So the first option is to just sell or spin off stores that would be harmful towards the whole merger in order for it to go through. Another option, and which is completely not viable, is for respective companies to close stores while they can and merge under a smaller company. This would, of course, cause a loss of jobs and negative impact towards the community, which would cause food deserts, as we mentioned in the last slide. But of course, it really wouldn't go through. And if it did go through, it would have an even more negative impact as a result of how many stores they closed beforehand. Opinions and further discussion. From the possible outcomes and decision-making behind a merger between Albertsons and Kroger, it is hard to see how this decision goes. Either the deal goes on phase and will merge by 2024, or each respective company will sell off some of their banners in order to make it work. It will be, interesting. It will be an interesting couple of months to see how politicians and company executives will exercise antitrust and general business protocols in order to make the merger happen. Conclusion. As a result of the possible merger between Albertsons companies and Kroger, it has caused a fair amount of conversations and controversies in the past few weeks. As the two largest grocery in the United States, this merger would bring them to the second largest grocery in the United States behind Walmart. After analyzing the 
and discussing potential outcomes due to logistical reasons, it will be interesting to see how all of this will play out and how it will ultimately affect the local communities, including the economy overall. Okay, and that is about it. So we just went through the merger, introducing both companies, how the merger would be, possible outcomes and some discrepancies, and just an overall recap of it. I'd love to hear your thoughts about the merger and of course, maybe even have a discussion about it. So of course, if you have anything, you could always leave a comment below to see what your opinions are. Other than that, I thank you guys for watching this video and hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.